Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is TJ from Impact Gamers and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own track in Trackmania so you can have lots of fun creating new tracks and you won't get bored. Um, so yeah, let's hop into it. So the first thing we need to do is just go over here to editors again and this time we're just going to say new track. Now today I'm going to be showing you the simple way of making a track, not advanced. So we should be doing that in another video but for now we'll start with simple. Always the best way to start at the bottom, work your way up and you'll feel a lot more comfortable with the editor. So I'm not going to make a huge track, I'm just going to show you the basics of what everything does and how to create a track. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want your start line. Now I am notorious for getting these the wrong way around because I always assume... There we go. I assume that is facing forward and I'll always get it wrong but anyway we are going to test it in this video so what we're going to want to do is first I'll go through all of these and say what they do I'll show you in the game and then I'll show you what buttons you need to be pressing to get different camera angles and delete objects and stuff like that so here we have the start line really important we need it to actually start the race this object here is the actual track just the ground itself and just straight lines and the way you can place these is if you click once with the mouse and then drag you'll see a blue line and then when I release the mouse there we go it will appear as it was as a blue line now if I want to do a corner I just click on this tool and to rotate it because that is definitely not going to fit on there I right click once and it rotates it and then I can just attach them so now we've got a corner so we've covered these two and start line but what we do need in our race if i just extend that a little bit more we need a checkpoint otherwise this race is not going to work and i didn't want to oh i nearly accidentally play something so we have one checkpoint i believe you need at least a checkpoint in order to create a track and the red one is our finish line we're not going to place that down just yet so at the moment We've done a very basic looking track and it gets to the point where you might want a different view. So what we're going to do is click on these arrows down here in order to turn the camera so we can get a better view. And now we've realised we've come to the end of the track, we can't keep making here. So, because we've made a mistake, if you click on the bulldozer tool down here, anything I click now that that's highlighted will be destroyed. Which is what we want and instead we want to make the track go this way down where we have lots more room so I'm going to do the same as I did and I'm just going to really quickly make a simple track I didn't even mean to place that there there we go drag and hold and get rid of that with the bulldozer tool so there we go that's rotating if you want to move around track you can oh, let's get rid of that there we go you can just simply get the mouse and drag to different parts of the screen so if I want to go up I drag near the top left and there you go it just pans the camera for you whichever way you're dragging the mouse so I'm gonna add that checkpoint back in and then I'm gonna continue making the track now we've not covered a few of these items down here this item here is a speed boost, so you place that and where the arrows are facing is the direction it is going to boost you in. So you want it to be the right direction, you don't want to be pointing it the other way otherwise your car is going to struggle to get over them. So I'm going to add two boosts and then I'm going to add a small ramp. And all I'm going to do then is on this end, I'm going to right click twice to turn the ramp and put it over here. So I'll definitely clear that because there's two boosts and it's only a small ramp and then I'm going to give myself a bit of room so I'm making a very very simple track and it doesn't take long but you can make multi-story levels so you can just keep increasing um, how, how high up the level goes these two go to so you can see flat down or if you want a more vertical view so there's many things you can do with the camera so here we are, I'm just going to super quickly 
try and finish this just so you guys get an idea. And we'll add one more checkpoint just in case for whatever reason someone flies off the track. And we want to finish the line. So just to make sure we've got these facing the right direction, which I'm notorious for getting wrong, we are indeed going to test this. But I'm really quickly going to show you this. This is just an obstacle. This is just there to get in the way and just be an obstacle for you to have to divert around, makes it a little trickier. And these are just for viewing purposes. The, 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 you can't really interact with them. I guess you could put them down to jump over them, but they are mainly there just for an aesthetic look. They're just there to, to look at. I'm going to put some here though, just so we can jump over something. That's all they're really there for. Um, there are a lot more customization options in the other editor, which we'll be showing you in another video. So there we go, we've got start line, checkpoints, boosts, finish line, and this is a really simple track, so we are going to test it. In order to be able to race properly on a server, or even just on a computer, on the track you've built, first you need to validate it. So we're going to click this symbol here with the car, and it's going to give us the actual race to do. If we can complete this, it will be validated then we can save it and then we can use it in other modes so i should be able to complete this track um, if i can I'll be, I'll be quite upset because it is quite a simple track and we've just got to make sure everything works so here's our checkpoint checkpoint works does the finish line work it does so we know we've placed everything the right way so you can always just look at my screen as a reference to the direction of the curve on them. So we've done that, we can click here now. End validation. Once we've ended the validation, now we can click this icon and this will allow us to save it. And I'm just going to call it uh, test because that's all that was. And that's it. It is now saved. And yes, we want to compute shadows. So now that we've done that, I will really quickly show you how to load this track and be able to race on it. Um, this will be a very similar function for if you're doing it as on a server or just on your computer. So I'm going to click this arrow to back out, back out again. I'm going to click on play solo and I'm going to go to browse at the bottom instead of on one of these. And if I click browse, I should now be able to load in my challenges. So you click challenges first, then to my challenges, and there you are. That is the track I just created. So you can race on it. Similar thing for party play. If you was making for a local server, or even just on this computer, you click on it, you go to create, and this time though, there we go. After you click that, instead of clicking on these icons, which are the the default tracks in the game all you want to do is click on my tracks and go to test that's the only difference so you can play it as long as it's validated you can play it on the server or playing it solo so that's it really guys that is how you create a track and play it in different modes on track mania uh, i hope this has been helpful we'll be putting out another video soon on how to do this in the advanced editor so you can make more complicated tracks and hopefully have a lot more fun. So, as always guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!